Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse and I am back for just a quick channel update or a quick update and announcement video. Wanted to uh, share an announcement from a Kickstarter that I just backed earlier today. The Reload Magazine Kickstarter just launched today as I'm recording this. And this is a new project that is kind of uh, that was spun off from the E1M1 magazine days. I've talked about them and covered some games from their demo discs in the past on my channel. Uh, some stuff happened a little while ago through them, uh, but I'm not going to talk about that here. But um, there is a new, like I said, a new project that uh, spun off from that, and it is called Reload Magazine. It, it is again a uh, retro first-person shooter magazine and uh, they launched their kickstarter today and the cool part is is that it was just like about an hour a little over an hour in they already reached their funding goal so it is um already funded but if you would like to get in and get in on it and support the magazine and um support the team I definitely would recommend it. They're a great group of people. Um, and you can sign up for, you can back them at a digital tier. So again, if you want to look for like an accessible version, uh, looks like they're going to be coming out in a PDF form. So, you know, you could use your screen reader. You could use, uh, I put mine, uh, they have a sampler issue out that they have a couple of articles in, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. But um, that is in PDF file format, and I just uh, shared mine into Voice Dream Reader. And there was a, I think it was due to the font that they were using. Um, there was a little bit of goofiness with a little bit of the text, but overall it read pretty great. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to show my support for their Kickstarter. And uh, like I said, if you have been following the channel for any length of time, you know that retro first-person shooters or boomer shooters, as they're sometimes called, they're kind of my jam, whether it's the old classics from the 90s or whether it's the recent revival. I mean, look at all the early access and demo videos that I've been putting up in the last month, month and a half alone. There is just a wealth of greatness if you are into that genre. Uh, I just realized that Gloomwood is coming out later this month. I don't know if it's fully coming out or if it's coming out in early access, but that I'm pretty curious about and we'll be covering that. But yeah, um, I wanted to, I wanted to, um, I wanted to bring your attention to the Kickstarter and if you want a little bit more incentive, I've been dying to announce this for quite a while. Uh, I did very vaguely tease that I had a cool project I was working on earlier this year. But I can finally talk about it because it is going to be in their issue one of the magazine. And you can also read the article now as part of the Reload FPS or Reload Magazine sampler issue yeah i'm in magazine form <laughs> so cool i got the pdf right up here just you can kind of check it out uh like i said you can download the sampler issue for yourself but uh i actually got to guest write a column talking about um mr allen d1 and uh, my working with him on the Toby accessibility mod for Doom and Doom 2. So, you know, this is really great because it's going to bring more attention to this mod and it is also going to bring more attention to game accessibility, especially in this genre. Because first-person shooters, from what I really know, there really hasn't been a lot of well, really any that I can think of. I know there's a few people that play uh, some Call of Duty multiplayer um, and that's awesome, but, um, I'm hoping that this article and maybe people looking at the ideas from this mod and other audio games and stuff, you know, maybe they can, these first person shooter developers can get in contact with consultants such as myself or other totally blind players. And, you know, cause there's been a lot of posts on Apple Viz or YouTube comments or, you know, or Twitter comments on my stuff to say, Hey, we want more, you know, meaty games and action games and, 
you know, we want to play like a first person shooter. I mean, yeah, the stationary games like Audio Defense and Circus Masters Revenge. Yeah, they're fun. They're they're cool. But, you know, you're just you're you're a stationary turret, man. There's nothing wrong with that to a degree. But, you know, we want to play Doom. We want to play real first person shooters, too. And so I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so stoked that um, something that I wrote and I got a little input from Mr. Alan D1. He helped me with a few of the facts and uh, kind of a couple of rewrites. And then the, I was uh, in contact with the Reload Magazine staff over the last couple of months, kind of tweaking things and getting some ideas so it could go in the magazine proper. And here it is. Got the Doom Guy logo over there got the article oh, i know it's just it's just uh really exciting like uh i did i did back the project earlier today and i had to even though largely the physical edition of the paper edition isn't going to be largely useful to me because i've got my article in there i had to get a hard copy i had to like i'm in an official uh official magazine and that's pretty awesome so heck yeah um but yeah i just wanted to bring your guys attention if you are interested in classic shooters and maybe want to you know support the developers support the writers of the magazine hopefully get more word out about uh first person shooter accessibility uh and let other people know because the more people that uh know about the magazine know about the article and everything Let's get some accessibility in our boomer shooters, man, because I would love for that to be a thing where I'd love to see more uh, retro shooters and this type of game playable by blind and low vision players. So that is the update. Um, you can, I'll put the link to this Kickstarter in the description below. There's a big old download link right on their campaign page. So you can do it through the Kickstarter app or you can do it through the website here you can back it and you can download the full uh sampler issue for free um and check it out so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys back the project and are able to support them um give the video a like if you did share it and uh follow me on twitter at bgfh79 twitch.tv slash illegally cited illegally cited.com and right here on youtube so until next time i will chat with everybody again Later.